uh, IP vanish, it's a VPN, hides your identity when you're online. So there's a myriad of different reasons people use a VPN, but the all encompassing purpose of it all is to try to hide yourself from the internet from tracking everything that you're doing. And I'm so, just gonna jump in and say VPN stands for virtual private network. That means that when you use this piece of software, you're, uh, you've created a, a tube, if you will, or a bubble or a, a channel, a tunnel uh, that is private and people cannot break into it and see what you're doing. It's something like that? You're, you're exactly correct. You're encrypting the messages from your internet service provider to whatever websites that you're going to. So they don't, the people that are trying to hack into your computer uh, are not able to. Dustin House, let's talk about who's out there looking. Um, we hear about this, but who's out there looking? Yeah, uh, the hackers, the, the everybody. Well, first off, uh, safety is always going to be your first level of defense. So you, I mean, why risk putting your information out there when you can hide it more from the government, from anybody else that might be looking? Uh, just taking that extra safety protocol is especially beneficial to you. Um, where this is really comes into play is when, let's say you go to the airport or to a coffee shop and you're on a public Wi-Fi, uh, there are people that can be in that same Wi-Fi connection and be able to track down what you're doing, what you're doing on the internet, um, whatever you're typing, any credit cards that you may be using, any information, and then they're gonna use that information to steal your identity. So. There's no reason today to not be doing that with a, a cheap product that costs $5 a month uh, and will protect you from those kinds of evils out there. Did you say whatever you're typing? You mean like just the, the strokes of my keyboard? Strokes in your keyboard might be difficult, uh, whatever you're typing into the fields that, that um, yeah that people are, are going to be observing and watching. So I, I understand, and this is kind of sexy for people who use um, uh, uh, Fire TV, as I do an Amazon Fire Stick and others, that this actually works on that so that when you're watching TV, whatever you're watching is also anonymous. That would include many open sourced apps that might deliver certain content. Um, you can enjoy that without being monitored. Is something like that? Yeah, you nailed it. Uh, some of our uh, most prevalent customers are those from overseas that want to get American Netflix or American Hulu um, because the, the programming is a lot different uh, in every country. So they would use a VPN, IP Vanish, to go in and set their um, location into the United States and then Netflix is going to give you that suit of shows and movies that that Americans are using right now. We're talking right now to Dustin Howes. He is the uh, IP Vanish affiliate manager. So he's in charge of all the people that make this available. We have to be one of them because for our VIP webinars, uh, how many videos have we posted of say Daniel Estulin, our Nobel Peace Prize nominee, uh, Pulitzer Prize winning authors and others where videos get pulled off of YouTube or people you know, try to crash and disrupt our webinars. This is one way you can watch the webinar and you never have to worry about that happening and or receive all of our information and really become anonymous in a time when we need it. Um, I'm just going to jump on what you just said, Dustin, because it's very important as a world traveler back in the pre-COVID days when one could travel the world. Yeah. Um, I found myself also in the position where I couldn't watch Netflix here in the U.S., even though I'm American, but I'm in Europe. It knows I'm in Europe and some programs are literally only available in America. Likewise, some programs are only available in Europe and there was no way. So I was spending a fortune. I had to buy a huge piece of equipment that you're familiar with called a sling box. 
<laughs> and the sling box um, allowed me to connect to this device back in the US that then uh, connected, I had direct TV at the time, mm -hmm. satellite dish, I mean, my God, the, the cost hundreds a month, crazy just to watch a show. And for a few bucks a month, I can now watch literally everything. Like almost nothing is impossible with IP Vanish. Um, let's jump into um, the, uh, I'm just gonna edit this little part out. Um, let's jump into who's doing most of the surveillance. And I'm saying, I, I guess in a more structural, larger sense, we know that very recently Edward Snowden was, um, well, made correct uh -huh. by the Supreme Court, who said, you know, he wasn't kidding, nor was he lying. It was all true. Uh-oh. Edward Snowden was exactly correct. That begs the question, and I'm guessing from where you guys stand, you can see a little bit in there or have some sense who structurally is actually watching us. Yeah, hard to say. Uh, Snowden being the whistleblower of it all and, and being brave enough to risk everything. Um, just an absolute hero for the security realm. Honestly, it's just, uh, he brought so much to the table of what NSA is really doing. And, you know, that power got out of control. Uh, they've, cor they've corrected it uh, in whatever fashion that may be. Um, but it still leaves the fact of the matter that you should be protecting yourself at all times. Uh, why, why trust uh, when you don't necessarily have to. So uh, he's just bringing a lot of, um, he brought a lot to the forefront of what a government can and just abusing their power, right? Um, and what's to say, who's the next country to go out and do it? Uh, is the United States the only one? Probably not. And there are lots of other countries out there doing it. Uh, countries just like China that don't even allow VPNs in their countries to be used, right? Uh, they ban them. They ban the websites that sell VPNs. And they're trying to control you in a certain way that you shouldn't be controlled. So the use of a VPN and other security products are always good for you to be practicing using on a daily basis. To that point, um, we all know in recent times, there are uh, apps that people, people, people like, not me ever. Um, there's Tinder, <laughs> we've all heard of Tinder, Grindr, um, which is the mothership, the original one started by Joel Simkai, who we interviewed before in the past. And we found out that the Chinese bought a 65% interest in Grindr, which means 100% of the naughty pictures transferred back and forth, including 100% of all the chats going back to the beginning of time are being archived, not only by the Chinese, but according to Senator Alan Simpson, who we interviewed uh, before he passed a few years ago, said at the time, which is now it's fully built, and Dustin, you already know about this, in Utah, um, square miles of facilities that do nothing but download every move you do on the internet and archive your entire personality, your tastes, all the pictures you've downloaded, long form videos, your phone calls, your texts, your chats, the whole soup cat and pizzas. And what IP Vanish does, this VPN virtual private network for just a few dollars a month, Dustin, is it allows us for the first time in modern digital history to be able to communicate with each other, uh, FaceTime, chat, do video conferencing, uh, all this stuff without anybody being able to monitor. This is pretty exceptional and it's still legal here, at least for now. Yes, absolutely. And in this world of data-driven uh, technology where everybody's buying and selling data uh, at an incredible rate right now uh, and how scarily powerful all of that data really is, um, it, it only behooves you to be doing your best to hide all of your activities online. I mean, 
I personally don't have a whole lot to hide. I'm a goofball. You'll find silly videos of me, younger days uh, of doing crazy things. But, um, you know, that's something that I can't protect, but I wish I could have back in the day, right? Um, but today, you know, I always take those extra precautions and using a VPN is, is one of those first steps to getting there. Um, yeah, so whatever is out there, you can never, never unring the bell if it's already out there. What you can do is not add to it. And what one of the things the senator was saying is there's nothing stopping Congress or the president through his unusual new fiats of signing things into law that go unchallenged by Congress, there's nothing stopping them from saying retroactively that this is now illegal. Even if you haven't done it right now, you might have done it 10 years ago, therefore it's illegal. You could be prosecuted for it. He recommended a virtual private network, and I hadn't heard of this during this interview. He said, you know, they have these things out there. It was something tunnel at the time, I forget what it was called. And I hadn't heard of IP Vanish yet. Now that I have, I understand what he means. Don't add to the pile, because they're gonna look for the newest stuff first. So now we have a way, Dustin Howes, of protecting ourselves. Digital prophylaxis, or DP as we're now gonna call it, which is um, uh, internet condom, where you can <laughs> do whatever you want out there, and there were no witnesses except whomever you want. So let's go into the next question. Is it possible, and we hear this, that they can just turn off the internet? Is there any truth to that? I, I couldn't tell you on that level. Uh, I'd have no idea. I know that uh, the United States is, is taking some extra precautions right now to ban a lot of apps out there. Uh, so yes, perhaps the internet could be that next level step of, uh, of taking us away. And they would do it by country. It would, um, you know, the Chinese government is bans thousands and thousands of websites out there so that the, the people in China, uh, within that Great Wall, they are not able to consume the materials that China government wants them to. So uh, a VPN gets around that. Using a VPN and, and going to a different country, now the people in China can actually go online and visit those sites that they really want to. And since the United States starts banning these apps, um, uh, using a VPN is a good way to get back in those apps and still be safe about it. For example, TikTok. I love consuming videos on TikTok and the government recently banned anyone from downloading it in the future. And so now I just take my VPN, I get connected on my phone and I can watch all the silly cat videos that I, that my heart desires. So uh, a lot of people are going to that these days with those banned apps that are coming out. So how does that work? Um, can you walk us through like the basic steps? Um, I actually don't have TikTok. I know it sounds crazy, but <laughs> I've got so much shit. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but, but let's say I want to get TikTok and I can't, but I, I, and I do have IP Vanish. How would I get TikTok using IP Vanish? Uh, it, super simple. So United States bans it, but Canada doesn't. So uh, you turn, you download the IP Vanish onto your cell phone. You uh, connect to a server within Canada or whatever country you want to be. Boom, you're Canadian. And now you're surfing the internet just like you're in Canada. And TikTok will magically work and you're able to download it again. Wow. So that kind of brings us a little back back to TV a little bit, uh, Amazon Fire Stick and all of these other open source sort of Google platforms. Um, if you're caught, and some people do stream, you know, <laughs> movies that are mm -hmm. on a thousand different services available overseas, whether they come out of Russia or some even come out of the US and you can download these things, but they're going after people now, aren't they? I mean, it's real. Yeah, and when, the great thing about being on a VPN is the, the worst thing they can do is say no. So I, I come across this 
every once in a while, like when I'm trying to stream sports and I'm in a blackout zone, I just keep on changing uh, the server from throughout the United States until I find a server that is actually working for that game that I'm trying to watch. Um, and if they, they recognize that it's a VPN uh, be, because of the uh, IP address, then they will just say, no, uh, we recognize you're on a VPN. We're not, we're not going to let you consume that. But you just keep trying. You switch it up. You ask the customer support what's working right now for this type of, of content, and they will happily give you their best answer for what's working for them right now and working for other customers. And with uh, IP Vanish, you can pick the country. If you want to use Albania's service mm -hmm. uh, servers, you can do that. You can literally pick the country uh, pretty much anywhere and, and cherry pick and focus where you want to be so that it works. You also have another feature in there called Scramble. Tell us a little bit about scrambling. You know, I don't know enough about scrambling. Uh, what do you know about scrambling? Here's what I know about scrambling, um, which is uh, maybe not as much as you. Um, <laughs> so basically, if my IP address is showing that it's over here and it gets rejected because they say, oh, look, a VPN reject, scramble resets it and sends it again from another place. And it keeps doing that automatically until you get through. So it basically uh, keeps changing your identity, if you will, over and over again. It's, mm -hmm. it's available on my Amazon Fire Stick. Um, I don't know if it's on my Mac. Of course, you can get IP Vanish on a PC, on, a, on everything. It's, it's absolutely universal, as far as I know. So it's an extraordinary way of getting stuff done. Uh, let's just finish with this, Dustin. Um, we now know that you can watch sports games that are blacked out, and that's a big one, especially with uh, stay at home or lockdown or quarantine or whatever we want to call it. What else is there? You know, uh, more digital product has been consumed than all of human history since the stuff was ever invented. And it's only going to increase now because this is the new normal. Uh, we work from home, we do everything from home. For people who do work from home, I would imagine having IP Vanish and a VPN uh, makes even more sense. The company might even insist upon it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Business has been booming since everybody is working from home. Everybody is scrambling for a solution uh, to be safe and, and have company information going through uh, your internet service provider, your ISP. Um, they don't want that data out there and to be vulnerable. So they're going with enterprise level solutions for VPNs. And in the meantime, they become individual customers with VPN services like ours. So uh, yes, the workforce out there that is working remotely can stay safe as well. Um, I don't like sending um, my information back to my internet service provider. Uh, because I don't know if you've ever heard of, of throttling before, but yeah. if you're spending way too much time on the internet, um, your internet service provider is going to recognize that and they will actually purposely slow your internet down because you're absorbing too much data. And when you use a VPN, they can't recognize what computer that's coming from, what's, where that's coming from, and your service, uh, your internet speed actually might increase. So... That's a great usage of, uh, of a VPN so that you can actually increase your speed when, uh, when your ISP is throttling. That is a great way to end because I have a personal eyewitness story of exactly that. And it happened right here. Uh, I was doing a live Facebook feed with Greg Palace, BBC's Greg Palace, Rolling Stone reporter, very sensitive material and we were setting it up and our Facebook Live video feed was delayed by nine minutes. And we were throttled by Spectrum because what he was saying is Al Gore titled his book, An Inconvenient Truth. 
And so they punished us. They punished us. And it glitched and froze, and it didn't occur to me to use a VPN. Now I know why. They throttled us. It didn't occur to me, geez, we should be using a VPN for all of this stuff going forward so we have a perfect, uninterrupted stream. Data is also private, and nobody can bust in and disrupt it. Brilliant. So you've done us a big solid, Dustin, not only by talking to us today, but you're, you've made these uh, even more uh, affordable for our fans, our customers, our members, our subscribers. And all they have to do is get the VPN through us, IP Vanish, and they're going to get a really good deal. And uh, you're backing it up. Um, and so I'm very grateful. And I thank you so much for coming on today and explaining how all of this works. Absolutely. It's great talking to you and thanks for having me today.